this is very exciting because we have identified a new form of perineoplastic encephalitis. Uh, this disorder causes ataxia or imbalance, uh, dizziness, double vision, hearing loss, essentially due to inflammation of the back of the brain called the brainstem or the cerebellum. These patients are all men because the biomarker, the Kelch 11 antibody, is a biomarker of testicular cancer in men. The pioneering work that our colleagues at UCSF have done in terms of uh, biomarker discovery through the use of these uh, novel technologies like phage display has potentially allowed us to make these discoveries much more rapidly uh, to the point that we may in the future have situations where patients will have routine testing of their uh, serum uh, and we will identify uh, diverse and complex immunomes, in other words, immunological signatures in individual patients that mean something in terms of their likelihood uh, of having a cancer or whether they may or may not have a cancer. But also, it also breaks open the entire field of autoimmune neurology. Early diagnosis is extremely important because if we diagnose these patients early, we can start them on immunosuppressive medications. And these medications help calm down the immune attack to the brain and reduce the amount of damage to the existing neurons. Sooner we can prevent this damage from happening, sooner we can stop the disease progression and the better chance we have for the improvement, clinical improvement in the patient's presentation and patient's life. We are likely to find more and more of these patients as because of the discovery of this particular antibody or biomarker. In a population-based study, we were, we've already estimated that there are about 4,000 to 4,500 patients in the United States who probably have the syndrome and discovery of this antibody has allowed us to do these population-based studies. So we will continue to learn more and more about these syndromes